Now, something that might be useful would be to be able to take this program and using a data wire, set it so that any we can type in any number of degrees and it will turn that many number of degrees. So this is what's actually called a my block. It's a specific block that we're going to set up and it's going to take all these different pieces and it's going to just put it inside of one new block so that we don't have to use all six of these each time. We can just use one block to make it work. So the way that works is I'm going to draw just a box around these six like that so that I get them selected. You can see they have this blue uh, line around them. Notice though that I did not select the start block. Right? I don't want to select that one, just these six that are come, come after that. And I'm going to come up here to Tools and I'm going to go to My Block Builder. I'm going to select that and it's going to create this new block and I'm going to call this one Turn Degrees and I'm just going to give it a description that will say uh, turns the robot in a certain number of degrees. And I'm going to come up here where it says click the button to add parameters and I'm going to click that once. And if I go into my parameter setup, um, basically this is going to be where we're going to set how many degrees. It's going to be an input. It's a uh, number and default zero. That's fine. I can choose the my block icons and I'm going to choose the gyro. And I'm going to go ahead and hit finish. Now, what you'll see then is I have this new block here that says A. And what I want to do with that is I want to take this A and I'm going to drag it over here and I'm going to put it on to the uh, where I put 90 degrees before. And now that's going to allow when I use this block, now you see over here in my program, first of all, I added this new program up here called Turn Degrees. And now it also adds the block here. I can come in here and I can type any number. I could type 90. I could type 180. Whatever the case may be, and it's going to turn my robot that many number of degrees. Okay, So I'm going to delete that for a second. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put in just a move steering. And I'm going to just have this turn uh, go three rotations forward. Now, where do we find that block? I just got rid of it. But if you go down here to My Blocks, you'll see down here that I've got this new block called Turn Degrees. So I can come up here and I can say... 180 degrees. I can come back into my move steering and I'm going to just put three rotations again here. And what this is going to do is it's going to move forward three rotations. It's going to turn 180 degrees and then it's going to uh, come back uh, three rotations. So this is just a block now that takes all of those other ones that I put together in here and I don't have to go in and put all of those in place anymore. Now I can use my gyro sensor to turn it 180 degrees, but I don't have to change any of these direction pieces. It will do it just using that sensor. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and load that on, and then we'll take a look and see how that works on as well. All right, so I've got my program loaded on, and I'm going to go ahead and run this. What should happen is it should go forward three rotations, turn 180 degrees, drive back through rotation. So let's see what happens. So pretty good. Um, it maybe was a little bit off on coming back at 180 degrees. And so you may have to kind of account for that, maybe give it a, you know, turn it a little bit more than that, maybe run it a few times to uh, make sure to know exactly how much you need it. But you could tell that Basically, it went forward through rotations like it was supposed to, turned pretty close to 180 degrees, and then came back through rotations to come almost right back to where it started.